thought I'd do a video on the, my new trailer. Pup tent on wheels with charging stations. What more can you ask? It's made by um, Oregon Trailers called the Dude Drop Alpha. Um, it's a pretty neat thing. It weighs about 750 dry, but you know, I put a lot of crap in it. So small, small, it's narrow in my Jeep, so I can pretty much drag it anywhere I can drag the Jeep. It's got a little bit higher ground clearance than the Jeep. Um, anyway, um, I'll do a walkabout on it. Okie doke. The awning on it, it's a bit skinny, so it doesn't block the sun unless it's directly overhead. But I think I can get some, um, something I can attach to it and increase the shade. It's not a big issue now because um, it's winter time and it's it's only I don't know 75 80 degrees outside but it would be nice I don't know what the dog's doing dogs getting crazy ain't you Zach ain't you getting crazy yeah he's a little bit afraid of this for some reason I don't know the trash a spare tire yeah, it's got these shelves. I don't know how much weight they take. I wouldn't stand on it, but they are they're adjustable, so you can uh, you can put them all the way up. Protects the glass, you know, for scraping things. That might be a little bit a weak point there if I hit a branch, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so. Or you can do it like yo, keep the sun beating on it, a little privacy. I'll show you up underneath it here, so bear with me. It's got um, independent suspension, timbering, independent suspension. Nothing really to catch it at all. Solar panel there, which is um, 90 watt keeps it charged up I got the box that's basically just it's got battery and um, the electronics so it's not really then the battery is probably a 70 80 pounds anyway so it's a lot of weight on the yoke anyway so I can't really use it for anything else but um, it's got the inverter there's the battery charge controller There's the shore power with the solar hook up to it. I do wish the yoke was a little bit longer. Just, I mean, that would be a give and take. But I can open my um, tire carrier up if I'm attached, which means I can't get in my refrigerator. So I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth changing or not. The extra length of towing it may not be all that cool. Another thing it has, it has this road shower, which is, um, holds seven gallons of water. And you can pressurize it right here, make it a pressure shower system, fills on the other side. Um, it gets about 25 degrees just with the solar above the ambient temperature. So right now it's 97 degrees, the water, um, which basically means you're taking a shower in the um, afternoon after it sits and cooks all day. In the summertime, that won't be an issue, but in the winter, long cold nights, it's a pretty bitchin' kid, I, I like it. I can now store, I don't know, three days now, four days, and I easily have enough water to go 10 days. I can easily, I think, outfit myself for three weeks now, which um, just putting the stuff in the JK, I was looking at five days, I was, um, you know, maybe a week max, just with the water, fuel, everything else. 
I think the solar panel I got, I got the 90 watt one. It's probably a bit of an overkill. I don't know, let's start running a microwave or something. But running the lights on and charging all my kit, I lose maybe only a volt all night long. So, yeah, just walk around the Jeep too. the beast and the other beast for you inside and there's all it's got a um, cigarette lighter type 12 volt outlet a couple of um, four USB ports and then the, the monitoring system for them and all that. Back there there's a AC outlet which if I had my druthers I'd put it on the side that the tent comes out on or the awning comes out on just because you know it's easier to get to. Don't have to crawl inside so much. But I'm 6'1", and I got a couple inches spare, so I think a 6'4 a person would be, um, might be able to stretch out on it. I can stretch out an extraction fan. say though all in all I'm pretty happy with it um, it was a little bit warmer last night um, a couple nights ago I was up in at 5 5500 feet elevation and it got down to freezing literally um, and I was I was toasty inside between me and the dog you know, it generates a lot of methane so that eats everything up 